countries all seek to offer improved standards of living as an indication of progress and economic advancement. With higher standards of living in a country, its citizens are seen to be better off. The practice is to equate the standard of living or the welfare of an average citizen in a country to the real GDP per capita of a country. The higher a country's real GDP per capita, the higher the standard of living of the citizen. However, economists are flaking out more problems in using real GDP per capita as a gauge of standard of living. By using real GDP per capita that tracks the level of production in a country, we're saying that a person's welfare is only dependent on the amount of goods and services that he can have access to based on how much is produced. Though the amount of goods that one can have access to is an important determinant of standard of living, i.e. the material or the quantitative aspect of standard of living, there is another important aspect of standard of living, the non-material or the qualitative aspect that needs to be considered. So the traditional GDP measure lacks in assessing the qualitative aspect of a country's standard of living, which includes such aspects as infant mortality rates and the number of doctors available per person. Besides the inadequacy of GDP figures for assessing the non-material aspects of standard of living, GDP must be used carefully in concluding about material standards of living. Though real GDP figures may have increased, this only shows higher levels of production. Yet material standards of living hinges on greater amounts of goods consumed and not just produced. When real GDP increases due to better tracking of economic activity with better tax reporting structures or with more paid services compared to DIY activities, real GDP increases since more production is now recorded, though the amount of goods consumed may not have risen. This overestimates standard of living. When real GDP is bumped up due to increased spending on restoring an economy wiped out by natural disaster, GDP overestimates standard of living. More exports produced bumps up a country's GDP figures too, yet the increased production is shipped overseas and not made available for domestic consumption. Using real GDP per capita alone to make deductions about standard of living that is affected by so many qualitative factors makes the indicator highly insufficient. Hence more comprehensive measures such as the Human Development Index is used.